This is Hand to Hand, and my name is Dan Wade. Jimmy Sandifer. Ken Moores. And we're, we're not instructors. I don't like the word instructor, because instructor is generally a person who doesn't get involved with the, the actual hand to hand. They're the person that speaks and tells you what to do, but they're never, never really doing anything. So we like to call ourselves trainers, because everything we do is hand to hand. It's person to person. It's real. He's going to do a straight attack with the knife. What we're going to do is just do block the knife, and then we're going to go into what's called a two-point takedown. Okay, go ahead. And what you do here is once you have him taken down, you want to get you still want to hold the knife and get the knife. See, I'm bending his arm. So I'll show you that again. And then you're just blocking, you're stepping in. You can see how very little effort it is. To take him down. And remove the knife. Now you have control. But what I'm going to show you is, is, is the body's got points of takedown all over the body. You can see how easily the, the, the body moves here. There's a point of balance. Understanding self defense is understanding how the body moves, uh, the planes of the body, the way the arms move, the way the balance of the body is. If you see his hand, I'm just holding his fist. Watch how his body starts to go off balance. I'm putting very little pressure. Now, of course, we can do this all day long, but the human body, the arm, can't move this way very easily. You see, it's very easy to take him down. This is what we call a dangerous position. And if you train it, if you know how to do it, you can get out of it. Now, what, what you do in this position is, as soon as you feel a knife or any object come up your throat, you, you immediately raise your hand and you keep your hand raised up. And then you then put your chin down. This will stop him. Even if he tries to cut, he won't be able to do it. And what you do here is you take your hand and you slide it against your face to put more pressure on the knife. You just turn, and now you're behind him with the knife. You see that? And of course, you take him down. You can also go both ways with it. The important thing is to raise your hand. As soon as you feel it, you raise your hand up. Like you're saying, call on me, teacher. Put your knife down here. You can come this way. And the knife is going into his stomach here. And we're going to down. And remove the knife. Those, those are moves that we like to show right off the bat because uh, anybody can find themselves in that situation if they're jogging. When somebody comes out of the bushes at night and you know tries to pull. Generally, you know, somebody you mad you, they want to pull you into a car or they want to pull you somewhere. I'm going to show you how to get get out of that situation. If you have the chance to learn it, you should learn it. That's the bottom line. It's it's, it's increasing your survivability.